Hey gang, David Shapiro here with another video. Uh, today we're going to talk about Microsoft and ChatGPT and Bing, but first there's two things that I wanted to uh, talk about. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk about is I wanted to point you to my Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash Dave Shap. I put in a lot of content for free out there in the world. Um, I want to make the world a better place, so if you could, support me, and then uh, maybe one day I'll be able to do this full time. Um, now, I've also been sick, uh, which is why I haven't been making as many videos. I'm still recovering, but as you can hear, I probably sound much better. So I also wanted to recommend a book called Do Nothing by Celeste Headley. Um, I'm only about a tenth of the way in, but it is a really important book, and it's probably going to save my life. Um, so it talks about burnout and stress and overwork and the fact that we all work way too hard, um, myself included, which is how I got myself sick. So anyways, yes, that's Do Nothing by Celeste Headley. If you, like me, work way too hard, you should read this book. All right, now let's get into the video. Uh, so first, oh boy, <laughs> I'm going to try and read this with a straight face. Actually, no, I'm just going to give up on that. Uh, Microsoft aims for AI-powered version of Bing. Um, yeah, so Bing has long struggled against Google, uh, and Bing even struggles against DuckDuckGo. Because here's the thing, is that Bing can't differentiate itself as like why it exists out there, right? Um, Google mastered search a long time ago, and there's nothing wrong with Bing. It works just fine, but it's not a known quantity like Google or DuckDuckGo or you know a few other search engines that people trust. Now, here's the thing. ChatGPT isn't a search engine. It answers questions, yes, but it's not a search engine. Um, now, that being said, it, it provides curated information, which is good, except when it's wrong. And so you might be familiar with the, uh, the Google versus Bing memes. This is only going to get worse, right? Uh, you know, <laughs> how to burn a lot of calories. Google's go for a run. Bing, burn McDonald's. Like, technically, yes. Um, and then this was another one. How to get rid of rats. Google, you poison them. Bing, flamethrower. Like, you know, these, these jokes are here for a reason. Um, and it's because Bing was never really able to nail search. Now, that being said, um, you know, with a little bit of integration, right, with web integration and KB article integration and other APIs, I'm sure that ChatGPT could be a phenomenal search engine. So I'm not, again, I'm not saying that, like, don't go this way. I'm not saying that this is a terrible idea. Um, you know, it could be it could be hugely differentiating because what ChatGPT does is it allows you to talk about the things, right? It, it actually is functionally different. It adds value above and beyond just giving you curated search results. Now, the biggest thing, and I've talked about this before, the biggest thing is that ChatGPT is way more expensive to run than, um, than a Google search index. So will that, <clears throat> will the, will the uh, economies of scale pan out? I don't know that they will, because here's the thing. You might, in order to scale up, you might have to cripple ChatGPT, run it on smaller models, which will decrease the quality, which means these memes are going to get way worse, right? Um, or you're going to have to charge for the ads, which means you're not going to find product market fit or profit market fit. And then this Bing will go into the trash heap of so many other Microsoft products like the Zune, right? Where it was an okay idea and it was poorly executed and they let it die. Um, now... I have a couple better ideas of what Microsoft could do other than put ChatGPT in Bing. Seriously, like don't take a phenomenal flagship product and then like just cut it off at the knees. Like, please don't. This is this is like typical Microsoft. Okay, um, Cortana. <laughs> uh, Microsoft has been trying to get an AI assistant off the ground for a long time. They've got the IP. <laughs> You've got Cortana. Just add a friendly female voice onto ChatGPT, you've got Cortana. It's that simple. Integrate it with, like make Cortana actually useful, right? Use Whisper uh, from, from OpenAI so that Cortana can hear anything. Build a Cortana app for all phones, uh, on all computers, tablets. Um, make a Cortana button, like uh, not button, but like um, smart home device. Uh, yeah, do that with ChatGPT. Please do that with ChatGPT. Um, or Jarvis. So here's the thing is 
the, the, the precise way that ChatGPT speaks is already like Jarvis. Like people have in their mind what we want an AI assistant to be. So you put a voice interface, a smart home device on ChatGPT, and you improve its memory, you give it a few more APIs, and it is something you can have an intelligible conversation with. So Microsoft, please, please do not do Bing. Like, sure, use large language models to improve Bing, you know, maybe have a chat sidebar thing, great. But like, come on, let's think in the future, man. Like, this is the age of real sci-fi. 2023 is the age of when science fiction becomes science fact especially where, where AI is concerned. So please do Cortana, do Dar Jarvis. Don't do, don't do Bing. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and support me on Patreon, please. I'll keep it coming.